Assalamu alaikum what's happening guys welcome to doctor technology reviews uh, today what i have with me is the HTC explorer and the galaxy y now these are direct competitors in terms of price and in terms of specifications now uh, the HTC explorer will cost you about uh, let's say 12000 rupees without warranty and uh, you will get a uh, Galaxy Y for 12,000 rupees with one year warranty. Uh, seeing the hardware of these uh, devices, you can see we have uh, the audio port over here. Both of these have a 3.5 mm audio port. The HTC Explorer has its uh, lock and unlock button on the top, whereas uh, the uh, Galaxy Y has its lock and unlock button over here on the side, and the HTC Explorer has its volume rockers over here. On the other side, HTC Explorer has the uh, port for data sync and then the uh, you can see over here the volume rockers whereas the Galaxy Y has its data sync port over here behind this lead kind of a door and we have both of these have the microphones over here. Seeing the back of the devices, uh, Galaxy Y has a 2 megapixel camera whereas the HTC Explorer has a 3.15 megapixel camera. The Galaxy Y's video recording is at uh, QVGA 15 frames per second whereas the HTC Explorer does a video 480p so those are significant difference over here other than that uh, let's see both of these have a drop down menus over here which are very easy to use very convenient because both of them these are running on a uh, gingerbread other than that, the pro the processor of these are again very different. Uh, Galaxy Y is running on a uh, 830 megahertz ARM's version 6 processor, uh, whereas the HTC Explorer is running on a 600 megahertz Cortex A5 processor, which has a Qualcomm Snapdragon chip, and it has a GPU of 200, uh, Adreno 200 that is, and uh, these are very big differences. The uh, Galaxy Y is running on a RAM of uh, 290 MB, whereas uh, the um, HTC Explorer has a RAM of uh, 512 MB and also have a, has a ROM of 512. The screen is uh, quite different of both these uh, devices. Uh, you can see that uh, the Galaxy Y has a 3 inches screen that is measured at 240 into uh, 320 and has a 133 pixel uh, per inch density whereas the HTC Explorer has a 3.2 inches screen which is uh, 320 into 480 and has 180 pixel per inch density so uh, this is very different and uh, you can see the screen of HTC Explorer is slightly better than that of uh, Y uh, the only drawback of uh, the HTC Explorer is a very very low um, internal memory so uh, that's about it. Other than that, I did not face any problem uh, with the HTC Explorer. I am very, very happy. Okay, so uh, let's see over here. Let's firstly uh, go into a quadrant benchmark and uh, see how this score. So here we have the quadrant benchmarking results and the Galaxy Y scores at 856 whereas the HTC Explorer scores at uh, 811. Now do remember that these uh, benchmarking results uh, change, these scores change uh, from time to time so uh, do not consider these as the final scores of how the, uh, the, these devices perform. So check out the browsing on a both these devices how they perform other than that both these devices are exactly the same because uh, they are running on uh, let's go into the settings first and uh, I'll just show you that both of these devices are uh, running on uh, the same kind of uh, software you can see that uh, the Galaxy Y is running on 2.3.6 gingerbread whereas uh, the HTC Explorer is running on 2.3.5 so that's not a big difference but uh, the Galaxy Y is updated to uh, the latest gingerbread version okay so as uh, I said uh, let's go into the browser first so here we have a Google opening on uh, both these devices the HTC Explorer's uh, web browser I f sometimes find is uh, some 
slow uh, in uh, some kind of processings okay so uh, let's see YouTube okay so YouTube has load on has loaded on uh, both these uh, mobiles and the videos work very fine um, I can't show you right now not right now because I don't have the uh, Wi-Fi over here uh, okay guys so you can see that the browser of both these devices is uh, very very same there is not very much difference in uh, the browsing of uh, both these devices because they are running on the same uh, Android version. Let's see Angry Birds and uh, see how they perform on both these devices. You can see there is a difference in the screen uh, density of uh, both these devices. So you can see that Angry Birds performs equally fine on uh, both the devices. Let's see some other games uh, to see the performance. Okay, so let's see Raging Thunder on uh, both these devices. Raging Thunder works fine on both these devices but I, say, uh, I did see little lag on uh, the Galaxy Y as it was not responding very good to the game and uh, some of the sensors were not responding too good uh, so that is it there is uh, no other difference in these devices when uh, playing games All, although Temple Run cannot run on uh, the Samsung Galaxy Y whereas it runs very fine on uh, the HTC Explorer because of uh, the graphic processing unit that it has so this makes a big big difference so let's see we have uh, Instagram over here and uh, see it works fine on uh, both these uh, devices so you can uh, take pictures and you can upload them right from here let's go into the camera application and uh, see how uh, that looks okay so here we have uh, the camera let's just bring in something we can capture okay so you can see here we have uh, the camera of both these devices we have somewhat more options on uh, the galaxy Y than compared uh, to the HTC but the video quality of, of HTC is better than that of uh, the galaxy so let's say we have uh, the image over here let's go into the gallery so that we can see the image that we have captured so here we have the gallery let's see so here is uh, the picture that I have just captured and here I have it so what I can do is I can pinch it to zoom or I can uh, you know hold it click it twice to uh, zoom over here you can see that zooming on uh, these devices is very very easy 
as they support multi-touch so another thing that we can do is we can uh, share our photos uh, by clicking uh, the menu button over here we get the option to share our photos on uh, the socializing websites or by via sms or email so we have instagram bluetooth picasa messaging facebook and other things like that where we can upload our pictures right from here okay so this was the comparison of the galaxy y and the htc explorer that cost the same 12,000 rupees and they are direct competitors screen difference processor difference graphic processing unit difference that's it uh, now personally I would recommend the HTC Explorer over the Galaxy Y uh, because uh, both of these are exactly same priced and uh, the HTC Explorer has a graphic processing unit. So both of these are phones they perform very good at uh, dialing numbers and uh, picking up calls. The speakerphone grill of both these devices is very very loud and very good. The messaging on these, these devices are very good and uh, that's about it. So uh, if you have any questions and queries uh, please feel free to ask please do subscribe to my channel uh, please do like my facebook page and i will see you in my next video till then stay cool and uh, stay happy